I watched Vendetta last night and shit. I did not expect to enjoy this movie as much as I did or, or find it as entertaining as I did. I think this movie has a lot going for it, especially this being made on a low budget. The amount of stuff the director is able to pull off here with his action sequences because this film does does have a lot of shootouts it does have a lot of guns blazing it does have a lot of bullets flying across the screen in the film and, and all of and all of those sequences are highly entertaining and they are easily the best parts of the film i was surprised at how well the action sequences of this were actually shot like yes there, there is a lot of shaky cam in this film but then there's also a lot of well choreographed shootouts in the film as well especially for for a low budget i'm gonna keep on saying that because the amount that the amount that this team of filmmakers were able to pull off with the i'm sure with the with the short schedule that they had as well as the minimum budget there is a there's a lot to enjoy in this movie and the action sequences are is only one of many reasons for why this movie is good now let me explain here let me explain on the surface level of vendetta this is a very generic running the mill storyline that we have seen done a dozen times before like every action film is like is this and so this isn't going to be like a groundbreaking film for the action genre. It's not going to be a name changer by any means. And I'm sure like anybody who watched this film, I like I'm sure you, I'm sure you didn't go into this film like expecting for this to be like one of the best action movies ever made. Because that's a very strong title to hold to your film. Um, but the way they decide to craft this story, like in in the editing department, in the like in in the story, um, in the direction, the direction of this film um, is really really good. Um, which I've got to give credit to the, the director here, Jared Cohen. Um, um, yeah, correct me if I'm saying his name wrong, but I believe maybe that's how you say his name. Um, he did another Bruce Willis film titled Deadlock, where Bruce Willis also plays a villain. And, and I really enjoyed that film. While it wasn't great, like it was, you know, a fun once-off watch. In this film, Bruce Willis, he also plays a villain. Uh, he plays the crime boss of our main group of bad guys. And yeah, Bruce Willis' role is definitely restricted in this film to Bruce Willis sitting in a chair saying his dialogue. There's one scene, there's one scene in the movie where he actually gets up and goes to someone's house. But Bruce Willis, he does, he does play this role, I think, really well. And this is definitely one of his better performances. Um, I've seen a lot of Bruce Willis on-demand films, and this is definitely one of his better performances. Like, it's not his best one. It's not even really a great one, but for a film of this scale, like he he did good with the material that he's that he is given here. Um, I think he I, I think he has the right tone for his dialogue. I think he he hits he hits he hits um he hits the right beats for the way his dialogue is being is being presented to the audience here. Um. He has a great, great introduction at the beginning of this film where he's where he's beating up where he's beating up this guy and then he ends up shooting him. I, I thought that was a fierce, intimidating introduction to Bruce Willis's um, character. Um, and and you and you like as you watch the movie, you can just understand that Bruce Willis's character, like he's the type of guy where where he's he's like he, he's very dead. He's very dead in some like he can't care about about how he's interpreted in how he is interpreted in the thug world he's like he's his own person he's doing what he's doing what's good for business here and what will and what will make him what will make him succeed 
And look, that's his that's his character here. And I really like what Bruce Willis did here. Like, he's not in the movie a lot. Um, he's probably only in it for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Like, he's he's in he's at the opening of the film, and then he shows up like a handful of other times throughout the film. Um, but you know, I really enjoyed Bruce Willis like in in this film. Um, and I thought our our cast outside of Bruce Willis, I thought they were all pretty good. I enjoyed all of our bad guys. Um, Mike Tyson, I don't think he can really act. Um, yeah, like I feel like he was really he his role felt more like a cameo. Like he shows up for like a quick thirty seconds at one point in the movie, and then he disappears and he comes back at the end, and then and then he gets killed off. So he's really only in the movie for like a minute. And to all Mike Tyson fans out there, that would be a big disappointment. Um, but you know, his his role was kind of wasted. His his he's really only in the film to sell it. Both him and Bruce Willis are because they're the top billing actors here. They're the A-list actors uh, in this film. That that's the reason for why people are going to are going to go watch this movie. Um, and like I, I thought the the climax of the film I, I thought was really entertaining. My favorite shootout sequence in the film was at this hotel. I like I thought that I thought that was like a great. I thought it was a great action sequence. Sequence. I thought it was shot really well. I thought it was directed really well. Uh, same as the climax. I think the climax is a really, is a really in enjoyable, and you can definitely tell that this is made by someone who cares about the action genre. And I am curious to know what people think of this movie because I have read and watched some reviews, and people don't seem to be all that keen on this movie. But I, I feel like it, it all, it's all kind of comes down to how you and interpret what you want out of your action film and depending how accepting you are of like of a low scale like action film um i think is yeah I, like i think it all just kind of comes down to how you as an audience member or how you as a critic will like will judge this film on what aspects but no i really enjoyed this film the only the only problem I would say with this film is the music. There's some really annoying, annoying shitty music in this film. It has this whole like kind of retro, um, this this kind of like retro kind of sound to it, and it just it doesn't work. It doesn't work in this film. It doesn't work in an action film, and it's played in some really strange moments where just where. It like it takes you out of the scene due to the really disrupting um, music. Um, like I don't know, I don't know what happened there, um, but yeah, the music in this film, um, yeah, I, I I was I was not a fan of. Some scenes are too dark, but like like it, it wasn't so bad to the point where the movie's unwatchable. It's still watchable. Um, but you know, this is a film that I was shocked at how much at how much of a fun time I had. So yeah, I would I would I would suggest uh, checking checking this film out if you are an action fan, but then yeah, like I, I can't really say what people will think of this movie all i can really say is just my own opinion here but i am curious to know what all you guys think of vendetta uh, i'm very curious to know what you think of vendetta if you enjoyed this movie if you thought it was meant or if you really didn't like it let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below so anyways guys i hope you have a good rest of your day evening and night and wherever you are and i'll see you in the next video all right bye